the next bit is similar and it's it's this idea of pain serving a purpose and you getting what we call secondary gain from the pain um and this can again can be a tough pill to swallow but it is possible that you gain from being in pain you might gain comfort you might gain sympathy and that sympathy might be something that you felt you never had or that you felt you deserved but but never got and this is one of those intricacies of again of your experience of pain so what happens when you're in pain maybe again we'll take two hypothetical instances uh, or two hypothetical examples so the first one would be maybe you lived a life of neglect you weren't you didn't have much uh, support from your parents much much love you know uh, or encouragement or anything like that and anytime you're upset or you're crying you're told oh you know grow up or man up or whatever whatever it is and then you hurt yourself and now the people in your life offer you sympathy and they offer you care and they offer you love and they offer you you know they take care of you and this is more likely when it's a really significant injury you know where you're maybe in hospital or something um and you just get all of this nurturing and all of this positive reinforcement and you're like well i lived all my life before this and i never had this and now i have this i finally have this and it's contingent on my pain and obviously you're not thinking this consciously but um you know it's it's very much a, a chemical thing it's almost like an addiction you know you, you get that positive reinforcement you get a dopamine hit and then what your brain will do is anytime you get a dopamine hit you're reinforcing everything that immediately surrounds that that dopamine hit so they, they see this with um, um drug addicts it's quite easy to get them uh, sober to get them clean from drugs in a in a controlled environment but once they go back out into the real world they'll fall into their habits because they're back in that environment and they associate that environment they associate all of their actions and their interactions and the people they're around and the places they're in they associate those with you know taking a, a drug and um, so for example if i you know if i ate an apple and looked at a picture of a dog and you know i ate 10 apples a day and each time i looked at a picture of a dog and then i somehow created an addiction to apples uh, this is a bad example but something addictive and i looked at a picture of a dog and then i went to a rehab center and they got me clean and then if someone showed me a picture of a dog i would have this urge because i'd have this association and i would associate the pleasure of the drug i was taking with the visual of of a dog so when i would be confronted now that i'm clean confronted with a picture of a dog back in my real world environment i would have my my brain chemistry would be saying you know where's the drug i need the drug because you know i'm associating it with um with that picture again this is probably probably not the best example but the point being is that we have we will basically we'll have secondary gain from being in pain and we will come to appreciate that and that's going to be worth the pain that we're in mm -hmm.